Alright guys, welcome back to episode 3 of the SK450 Dead Cat Build. In this episode we're going to be getting all the electronics together and setting those up. So first we're going to begin with the motors. I'm running the NTM2826 series 1200kV motors. Uh, these are the shops, short shaft version and you have to get these little accessory packs with those. And that includes like the prop drive and the nuts for mounting them. So, uh, yeah, so the four little plates that we installed in the part two, you want to look at those and there's four holes in it. And two of the holes uh, are wider apart and the other two holes are more narrow. And then if you look at the bottom of your motors, uh, I'm not sure about other motors, but in the NTMs anyway, that is the exact same. There's two uh, close together and there's two wide apart. So you just want to go to the underside of the quadcopter and uh, like this. Just go to the underside, mount your motor on the top and just line up those holes and uh, the, screw, the little screws you want to use from the accessory pack is this here and just four little silver screws and you want to use those and uh, yeah so just use those, mount those on and we'll come back and we'll finish off mounting to the top of the motor and then we'll move on. So let's get going. Okay, so now we all have the four motors mounted. Uh, I just got them and put the wires down through the frame because I'm going to mount my ESCs on the other side here. So that's just going to make it a lot tidier going along the bottom. It's the same on everyone. So they're all tightened on and um, it's solid. So now what you want to do is go back to your accessory packs where you got the uh, screws for mounting the motor and you want to get this little guy aluminium prop drive I would say it is and just along with that you'll get uh, three little three little black bolts again using the, the allen key uh, to screw them in so you just place it on the top of the motor we'll do it up here so you can see it better just place it on the top of the motor and place the little bolts between each one So, so just screw those down and uh, screw those down. We'll get my own key here and we can continue then. Alright, so once that's tightened down like that there, just want to get the little washer then comes with that. Put it down on top. The prop sits on here and then you get the little prop of that uh, little cover. Right. Just get that, you put your prop on there, spin this down on top of your prop, you can get a little uh, your little allen key in through this hole here, just put it in through and that gives you a bit of leverage to tighten it up. So I'm just going to hold them on now until we get our props on that are on when we're testing. So do that to all four motors and we'll see you when we're back. Okay now we have all the, um, the little prop adapters on the top of the NTMs. So that's to secure. These are only on this until we get our props on, but for motor testing you definitely want don't want the props on. Uh, now our next step is going to be installing the SCs. Uh, I'll be bringing all my wires into the center and like my wiring loom will be going into the uh, quad power distribution board. So uh, it's just ball connectors going to each hole and that'll be very handy. So um, we'll just uh, play it the SC to see what it's like. Um, so I'm going to have them on the underside as well as my motor cables are on the underside. I'll do it up here. Um, so we'll go ahead and connect red to red. Yellow to yellow. And the black to the black. And then these will be resting under here. We'll feed the wires in through the little hole in here. Now that that's in place, I'll just be popping, like bending these wires, the SC full forward, and just these wires, I'll just be popping them up here to the top. And these will be uh, for the cable tie, and these wires just be coming down here. 
There's not too much tension on the wires, it's perfect. And with the ESC up here, it's nice and tight and snug. And it's a, uh, you know, it's a nice tidy wiring job, there's no mess. So, um, I'm going to do this to all my motors, I'm going to plug them all in. I'm going to get my dis distribution board down in the centre of the quad here. Uh, I'll have to mount that. And I'll hook it all up to the power distribution board and we'll move on to mounting the flight controller. Uh, the flight control board and yeah so let's get going okay now I have my ESC's and my power distribution board all mounted uh, just let me you go under here so if you look in there you'll see my power distribution board and all the ESC cables are going there I had to extend the uh, the afro ESC's as they weren't long enough with the dead cat configuration to reach the board but um yeah, once I got that done, I just joined them up. I mounted the uh, distribution board with little uh, just little bolts there that I had a set lying around the house. You can see those in there. And uh, the ESCs coming out here. Just brought them out here nice and tidy. I put a little cable tie going around the frame. And I just kept them, the wires down neat and tidy. I got them going up here nice and neat and tidy and got another little cable. Just went down into the motor. So it's all pretty uh pretty neat looking from the from the bottom so far. The only thing not so neat at the minute is the the wires here that going to the <coughs> going to the KK2 board. So yeah, we have all that installed. The next thing is to actually install the flight controller board. So I'm just I'm actually making it pretty simple. Uh, I'm gonna use the actual KK2 uh box that came in which is this little box and the little lid well I won't be using the lid but just this little box that came in I'll be actually using that so if I just turn the quad around like this and there's a little arrow at the top of the KK board uh, just in there you might be able to see that in the camera just a little arrow in there uh, that's pointing towards the front of the, the copter so this is the front here so I'll have that little arrow pointing towards me. Uh, I simply got a little drill bit, just like this one, and I just slowly, there's the holes in the corner of the boards there, and I just put it, you see, I just put it in there and slowly just drill like that, and I'm in a nice clean hole the whole way through, there's just a hole at every corner there, and I just done that the whole way around. Uh, bring it back on with the arrow to the front. I got just little bolts as well that I had around the house and just popped them in. And as you can see on the frame here, there's just all these slots and it fits in perfectly and you can it just moves about until it actually gets perfect. So once I had those little holes drilled, I just pushed in my bolt and popped it through. And I'll do the same with the rest of those. Oops. So they just pop in nice and neat, like that. And the last one. So, once they are all in, I just go back to the thing, ensuring that little arrow in there was pointing to the front of the quad, and just positioned it in, squeezing it about. Even on, even on, yep, it's even, perfectly even on every side now, I'll show you. There we go. It's perfectly even on every side. So, with that done, I just got these little nuts, like so, and just on the underside of this where they pop out, down in here, if that's the right angle, just down in there, got the little nuts, put it on there, got a screwdriver. And screw it down. Just one tip if you're actually doing this method is don't screw down too far. Uh, don't screw down like tighten it too tight because it will actually bend the KK board and could crack it. So just tighten it with some Loctite or lock nuts until it's, it's very firm. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and uh, we'll come back and do the rest. Okay, now that we have the KK board successfully installed, um, I just went ahead and mounted my receiver here, it's a Spectrum AR8000. I just done that so I wouldn't have to take up most of the video doing wiring. 
Um, I also got these uh, cables coming from each of your ESCs. These are little servo lead things. So each one of those coming from your, from your ESCs, you want to plug into the board, and it goes from motors one, two, three, four. So this is the front of the quadcopter here. So yours will be number one, two, three, and four. So you get cable one first, and let's get that coming through there. That's this cable here. It's this cable here, and you just want to pop that in and upside down like that. Oops, it goes in the receiver. You want to just slide that in there. They go in upside down, so the little pins, these little pins, like the back of the servo lead, will be facing the front of the quadcopter. So it goes in like that there. And uh, I'm not putting that in yet because I want to check is that motor 2. So this is motor 2 here. Sorry. So this is motor 2 here. And this cable here, whichever one that is. So we find out. Yeah, it's this cable here. So as I said before, just the way the back of the pins. And it goes in upside down like this. Pop that into the second set. Okay, that's number 2. Number 3 is down here. One, two, yeah, number three is down here. So, just figuring out, is that the correct cable? Yeah, that's moving. Just turn that upside down as well. And plug it in there. And the last cable here, obviously number four. Like right, that as well, and just... Oops, wrong hole. And just slot it in there. Okay, so now your cables will be going number one, two, three, and four. That is the way they should be laid out with the motors. Uh, on the other side, I have just mounted my receiver, just for last time in the video, and I've got all these little cables here. And all these cables are the male to male servo leads that you should have got when you were getting a KK board. And this is so you can connect it in here, this order, to your KK board. So, you want to get just get these cables, and these go in the opposite way, as you see those there go in with the little pins facing the front these go in with the little pins facing the back so it's just a different way about it is so uh, just once you get those we'll do the order of this here and get them all in okay now we're just going to uh, put the, the servo leads in the correct order I just think go will remember that there so uh, at the top of the board number one is aileron so you want to get your aileron cable and it's coming from here so you get that, I'm just putting them in here for tidiness and I'll cable tie them up later so you want to get aileron and as I said, these pins if you can see there are all facing the front as I told you earlier and there they're facing the front so this time you want the pins to be facing the back like this it's just aileron number one top of the board and I just slap that in there so that's number one and uh, number two is your elevator so let's get the elevator cable and that goes here. So just get that to feed it up as well. And that's elevator. So we just want to pop that in the second slot. Again with the pins facing the back of the board in the little adapter. Um and the third one is throttle. So here's the throttle here. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. We'll get throttle. Put it in the correct way. Just like that. Um, once you're throttling, you want to get rudder. That's the next cable. So, grab that, pop it in the same as the rest. And last but not least, your auxiliary one. So just pop it up through. And there we go. So now that's the order. Just gonna mount that back there. So you have aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, and auxiliary one starting from the top of the board. And over here you have motor one, motor two, motor three, and motor four. And just just be sure that they are in the correct order, and that is one, two, three, and four, as I have said before. Um so now that the KK board has all the wires correctly in place. Uh, you'll just want to mount your receiver. I've already done that, as I said, just for the purpose of shortening the video. So, have that mounted, my KK mounted, ESCs all mounted, motors mounted, 
and all the cables go into it. So all that is done. Uh, what's needed now is for setting up your KK2 board. Um, definitely not put on the props until all that's set up because that can be quite dangerous. So um, yeah, that's all to come. Uh, I suppose one more thing we could do is your little buzzer that you get with the KK2.1.5. That goes into the top of the board here. If you look in the top here, you'll just see a uh, little pins in here, little black, little black base, and then you get your uh, the lead off the little buzzer, and the little bumps on the top of it there, as you can see, they go to the top of the board. So that means turning it this way, replacing it down, and then like that. There we go. Just mount it in like that. And that's the way it should be. So I will do another video on setting up the KK2 board once I have it dialed. So I'm going to get it figured out first and come back with another, another video. So um, yeah, thanks for watching Electronic Setup. Uh, I'll see you in the next video when we're setting it up. And yeah, see you there.